I just Honestly. have plenty of time. Don't I may as well talk to, I as well talk to the camera over here. <laughs> Do you know what, Kate, for the most part, no, I've got like a lot of uh, mates, you know, with the Stretford Paradox, which is one of the uh, official supporters clubs. And, and once Cristiano did that interview, even I myself was quite surprised as to how quickly they were willing to burn their bridges. I had to almost remind them, this is Cristiano Ronaldo we're talking about. I personally didn't doubt his love for the club. We know he still cares about it. He was talking about a certain standard that fell off, and we all know the story by now. But for the most part, they seemed quick and happy to move on because they said, look, it's as Sir Alex kept reminding everyone back in the good old days, no player is bigger than the club. No, no player is bigger than the club. You know, that's that's the United mantra has been for a very, very mm -hmm. long time. And, you know, they, they did move on. And you say he loves the club. No one really knows that he loves the club. He knows how to talk I think like he loves, loves the club. It was his first home away from home. Yeah, that's a, that's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. It's a long time ago. But one thing I would say in regards to that, it's very easy to cut ties with somebody who wasn't performing at their best anyway. Yeah. If Ronaldo would have scored 10, 15 goals so far this season, then maybe there would have been sort of a different issue. But for them, they understand now they see his flaws and he's a 37, 38 year old who wasn't in the best of form. Mm -hmm. So for as much as his legacy is there and he's been one of the best players to ever play the game, when that interview comes out, it's a lot easier to say, OK, well, enough's enough. Because at the end of the day, they don't probably feel as big as an asset, as big of an asset as maybe he once was. Yeah, okay, I think that's the story here. Craig's definitely right. Everybody's very much ready to close this chapter on Cristiano Ronaldo the, at Man United. I, I, I bloody hope so. I wish they hadn't brought it up. It fueled the fire. Don, don't you dare talk about Cristiano Ronaldo now when I ask you the next question, all right? He's no, gone. My lips are sealed. No, all right, what are, you, what are your I'm expectations afraid. for oh. Manchester United for the second half of the season? Without Ronaldo. Without Ronaldo. Well, it's hard, Kay, because you say second half of the season and you're right in saying that because that's, that's what we think in our mind's eye, second half of the season. We've only played 14 games. In our mind's eye, it's like we're halfway through the season. We're nowhere near halfway through the season. So, to be honest, I've got, I've got no idea because this is unprecedented how you have a Winter World Cup and then you try to get back up and running... Um, in Boxing Day when, you know, I covered Leicester last night and, you know, just going on to their form, they were one of the form sides in the country. They were six games unbeaten, five clean sheets. The only game that they lost, sorry, one loss and six, the only game that they lost was against Man City. They play Newcastle on Boxing Day. If Newcastle beat them, Newcastle can go second. So I'm not writing Newcastle out the equation either. So Liverpool need to get going. Chelsea need to get going for sure. They're down in eighth. But it's a massive battle from here on in um, on who's going to be match fit, who's going to have the rhythm, which players have been rested, like Erlen Haaland. We, will he come back super sharp being rested? Will he be a little bit rusty? Does he bang the goals in or does he miss a few? Uh, Mo Salah, the same. Thiago, the list goes on and on and on. So it's going to be very fascinating to see which players from now on in actually hit the ground running in the first couple of weeks when we're back. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.